close that door. Okay. Three, two. Peace, peace, and hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Divinity Podcast. I'm your host, Divinity. Happy Sunday. And I just want to send a happy belated Mother's Day to all the mommies out there. And second, hey, my shorty, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, that's my baby. That's my baby. Now, we are on episode 20. Hard to believe, but it's always forward. You know how we do. Now, on this episode entitled, Us, <laughs> Two of Us versus None of Them, I have a very, very special guest. We got to lay out the red carpet for this one. Had to shine up her crown for this one. And I'm not talking about no other, nobody other than my baby sister, Danny. Hey. hey. They yell Great Dane if you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> when Don't play all day. Every day, all day. Now, when Ja was on the show, I said, we know what y'all favorite day is, Wednesday. I thought Wednesday was my favorite day. Hump day. <laughs> but I'm shout so happy. Shout out to my babies. Hey, shout out to my nieces and my nephews. Hey. But real quick, I just want to thank you for coming on the show. Hey, Ja. I just want to thank Ja for hey, being honey. on the last episode. Hey, my engineer in the background smiling. Hey, you. Hey. <laughs> so we're going to get into this. Now, the reason why I named the episode The Two of Us versus None of Them is because it's the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Hey, just you, you and I. Oh, you got the harmony. You ain't going to get it because you ain't got it, Otis. <laughs> but no, seriously, my sister is my best friend. And I just wanted to get her on the episode because I promised her that I wouldn't make her cry. But I'm glad that you're here because I wanted to thank you in person, as I always do. Thank you for always being my battery. Thank you for always pumping me and keeping me going. Because like I told you before, I didn't think you would be going this hard for Divinity the same way I go hard for Divinity from the jump. Mm -hmm. You didn't just jump into it and start doing it because you felt like doing it. You did it from the beginning. You've been in the trenches with me, and I love you for that, and I thank you. And thank you for doing this episode with me because we're going to have to get into some cereals. Some cereals. Wait, fix your heart. <laughs> some serious <laughs> stuff. But say hi to the people. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Danny so, is in the building. Oh, they yell, great thing. She went eight turns. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get into a few That's topics. That's why I made my name that. Oh, because Lil, Lil Weezy, she <laughs> letting y'all know. No, Danny is like one of the biggest <laughs> Weezy fans I know. And when we were younger, I would be like, what the hell do you see in that gremlin? But I get it because Weezy got bars, okay? I only know two big Lil Wayne fans, and my sister just happened to be one of them, okay? So we have a few topics that we're going to get into, and I feel like me and my sister, we're in like the same but different parts of life right now my mm -hmm. sister got married last year hey oh she flashing that bling in front of me i think she's trying to be funny <laughs> y'all i need my sunglasses go get my sunglasses go get my sunglasses but no, just something like, just something i'm so like. happy though like i'm happy to be here. can we talk about that real quick because when you and ja first got together i swear to you it just felt like we knew him all our lives mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and and he just fits in his family. Shout out to Miss Tina. Shout out to Key. Hey Key. Shout to my Shout, hey Curtis. Can you boo boo boo? <laughs> Big okay. butter. Big butter. Hey. <laughs> but I just want to like tell the people like the background of our relationship because we're gonna get into a few topics like I stated earlier, but. Right now, I just want to kind of give them a brief history of who we are, mm -hmm. why we're here, right? So, my sister and I, my sister is like my walking diary, okay? And I love the fact that I have someone that I can really, truly call my best friend. Like, I can be vulnerable with her. I can tell her any and everything on my mind without her judging me. Mm -hmm. And she just listens to listen. Mm -hmm. And this has been... Oh shoot! Give it to Your him. Secrets. Come on now. Your secrets. What they are? I save with me. 
Save with me. <laughs> See why you gotta play? Why you gotta suit me up? You know that's my favorite song. But you know, cause you know that you know. But seriously, um, we know like when we were growing up, like I, like me and my sister, we have these deep, intimate like conversations our talks are like always something for us to grow from and I was telling you um how you know when we were younger I used to be so mean to you but it was you understand why (laughs) and I'm so happy like I just never knew that you know I could experience a love like this Mm -hmm. like someone that I know holds my secret someone that I know Anything I've ever told you never gotten back to me. And you know my, my you know my journey through friends and you know my journey with thinking that I can be everyone's friend and you telling me like, yo, you you like you give yourself out too much. Mm-hmm. And I just wanna take my time out and pay homage to you because you are like the epitome of what a real friend should be. And everybody like, oh, that's your sister, that's your sister, but she's more than that to me. Like she is the mother of my nephews and my nieces. And you know, I learn from you. What do you want to say about that? Cause you know, I could talk about you all day. I sing your praises all day, girl. Go back to episode 18. I wrote a song for you, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but seriously. But no, you know, it's not how about, it's not about how the relationship starts. It's about how it always finishes. Mm. And you know, um, you know, when I was a kid, I just looked up to my big sister and I just wanted to be just like you. Aww. And that's all that it was. And, you know, at the time, you know, I didn't understand why you did it before. But, right. you know, as we got older, we grew closer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, once my nephew came, we really got closer. Absolutely. That was, that was my baby. That's my baby. That's my Happy baby. birthday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's still my baby. But, you know, I appreciate our relationship, too, because... I'm learning from you through mm-hmm. your podcast. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's been a healing process for me too, mm-hmm. going through because you know some of the stuff you say I can relate to. Right. And then it's like some episodes I'd be like, Ronnie, this wasn't mine. Yep. This, yep. This one wasn't for me. I say it all the time. <laughs> no, but but I do relate to yes. most of you know most of the episodes, mm-hmm. and you know I really appreciate it too. I know because you always tell me so and you know a lot of people look at this as like you know this is a playtime though this is work for me yes because in the midst of doing this you know I'm being vulnerable and yeah. being vulnerable takes courage this is true you know a lot of the times people will say what they have to say about you mm-hmm. to other people and now other people are judging you or looking at you differently knowing that they've been with you and you know they get to see that that new you and mm-hmm. when you and pops tell me like yo you did a total 360 oh, like I don't yes. even recognize this person change, anymore um, I appreciate that mm-hmm. because it's like sometimes I don't recognize how far I've come and for me it's still a journey it's still a process and I'm still learning Mm -hmm. because you know I can be real petty (laughs) and I'm working on that no I'm really working on that I know I know and you know me if I give up on somebody sis you know me better than anybody Mm -hmm. that means that they have just pushed me to my limit even when I haven't done anything to them Mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying like I've been nothing but a great friend Mm -hmm. and it's just like it was at a point to where you were there with me when I would just, I couldn't understand, like, I I can't touch everybody. Mm -hmm. I can't reach everybody. And I'm still standing on my own too with the principle of I'm going to be the good that's Mm -hmm. left in this world. And I thank you for allowing me to be that vessel. And thank you for allowing me to teach you things. Mm -hmm. And thank you for teaching me things. And I want to touch briefly on, um, like, the change that you see because you know dad said something to you before and it hurt me Mm -hmm. and that kind of like raised the red flag but when he said this to you how did you feel well at the time I understood where he was coming from Mm -hmm. because you know that part of you was there Mm -hmm. but to think that you wouldn't do what he wanted you to do Mm. I didn't think that right so that's why, you know, it, what threw was asked through, of me. Yes, right. it threw me for a loop for a little bit, too. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm like, hmm. I probably was so much. Mm-hmm. It's just, 
it's a it was it, it no it kind of like brings you to a different reality yeah it's one of those things where it's like a good friend like i told you a good friend is a a, a friend that's going to make you aware mm-hmm. or make you conscious of the this things that true. you don't yeah. see and a lot of the times people don't like the uncomfortable feelings mm-hmm. when you tell them about themselves they lash out oh you a hater mm-hmm. oh i don't think that's that i think you just in your head but no these are the things that i'm seeing and yes. just because you know you don't feel that way mm-hmm. i'm looking from a different set of eyes this is a different lens that mm-hmm. i see things yes. and you know a lot of the times i feel um, people don't understand when I'm selfish with me now, mm-hmm. because before, if we, if you mem- remember in episode two, if you keep giving out your energy, your light, you become dull, yep. and it it takes away from your 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 life experience. And for me, I wouldn't want to do this journey with anybody else but you. Mm-hmm. You understand that? Like, I just want people to understand how much. You should show people that you love them. And appreciate them, definitely. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm not perfect. Nobody yeah. work walking this earth surfaces. Shout out to Jigga. We did him last episode. <laughs> but I just want people to understand that it's more to life than, you know, gossip, clicks, mm-hmm. and, and, and yeah. fortune, and fame. It's really being present. Mm-hmm really appreciating the good that people offer you Mm -hmm. because when they are trying to tell you something it's a learning opportunity i know the truth hurts it's uncomfortable at first you think it was uh, it was comfortable for me to to see that a lot of the stuff that was happening to me was my own fault Mm -hmm. thinking that i'm just being a good person but you can't give that to everybody So a few of the topics that I want to get into um, is secrets. One of them is secrets. And I know you a Scorpio. Shout out to my Scorpios <laughs> out there. You're nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> but one thing I do like about you, sis, is that, you know, people think they know, but they never really do. You're a very private person Mm -hmm. and a a person that I just happened to come into grips with had to help me realize that I don't have to explain to myself to everybody. I can be private. You know, I can, I can do things without the the validation of others, the Mm -hmm. validity of others. So what's your take on like secrets because I know like you were saying like how you know you before you got married you had to go through counseling and Mm -hmm. it was like a rude awakening yes definitely um one thing when it comes to relationships I've learned to keep certain information to myself especially when it comes to me and my husband's relationship right because if i start putting everybody (laughs) if we start you know telling everybody and anything the good and the bad things that's happening with us especially the bad things they're going to start looking at him different and i don't want that right you know because you know we go through stuff it ain't all easy right but nobody will never know you know we could have had an argument and about to have family dinner but you wouldn't even you would know. never know yep you know we had an argument before then you know but you know like i said when it comes to any relationship mm-hmm. anything somebody tells you or anything that y'all go through and the person and if you do invite another person yeah it is <laughs> if you do invite another person make sure that's the person that you know won't tell your business or spread your business out there to any and everybody else right and you know i have that you know i know i could share things with my sister you know i share certain things with my sister and mm-hmm. it's like there's certain things that i don't share with her mm-hmm. and you know that's because something you know that... i'm gonna be biased and you know i'm ready to ride out if i need to ride out and, You're... and you know and sometimes that's something that i do need to work on too because sometimes i do you must right i'm tricky you know sometimes <laughs> I do hold stuff in mm-hmm. and you know people you know who knows me you know they'll know oh something's Mommy. not right or something's I do. off because <laughs> you'll see me yeah. ask you like sis are you sure you okay mm-hmm. and it's just like um my misery does not like company mm-hmm. and I've I've learned that me because I know when I need my quiet time I mm-hmm. need to mentally recuperate yeah I will not bring that energy around anybody right And I'm going to, this is a little tidbit for the listeners. In episode 18, I was in 
severe pain. I had a migraine. I was going through my meantime. I had cramps, but you wouldn't know it because mm -hmm. I had to work. Yep. And I wanted to make sure I did that episode right and I got through it. Mm -hmm. Once it was done, I did I needed I did what I had to do to recuperate. But to reiterate on um the secret part for me, sis, it's just like, you know, I friends may come, mm -hmm. friends may go, but <laughs> I know my sister got my back through all of that, okay? Mm -hmm. And true. you know what I've been through. You know my ordeal. Like, I've shared things with people in hopes of seeing the world through rose-colored glasses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hoping that those secrets were safe, which they weren't. Mm -hmm. Because it always got back to me a different way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Way different from what <laughs> I told it. But for me, it's just like... Um, I understand now and I needed to go through those things to get where we are now yeah and it took a few people to have patience with me mm -hmm. and help me understand that shout out to Bubba um, shout out to dad mm -hmm. shout out to you um, and you know it's uncomfortable when you have to admit when you were wrong mm -hmm. I could point the finger all day at those people like oh they should have never did it no you should have kept your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Dad told me something. He said, if you want to keep something a secret, keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think about um, when friends, you're no longer friends anymore and they start talking to people who they know you don't get along with? Mm -hmm. It was always there. Mm -hmm. Come it's on just, now. It's just that when you were friends with them, they didn't show you that they were still talking to always, these other people. Mm. They were always there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new. What's your take on friendship? Hmm. My take Shout on friendship. Shout out to Sabrina. <laughs> Shout out to Makia. <laughs> My take, and I was just about to say, those Jante. are... Jante. Hey, those bo. are... Sabrina and Makia, they have been my friends since the sixth grade. Right. And... Those two girls, those are my rocks. Those are my babies. They you know, I'm, the, I'm uh, the oldest uh, out of all of us. Mm -hmm. Me and Makia, we're a couple of months apart, but hey, hold those up, are my now. girls. Those Dude, are my girls. You on my show. <laughs> let's, let's, let's remember that. <laughs> okay, the Varnell man can. <laughs> those are my girls, you know, turn sister. I love them. Mm -hmm. And um, Mickey be trying me, though. I value their relationship, too, because they keep me on my toes and they keep Absolutely. me in check, too. You know? Absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> Makia always telling the story about when we had our little fight and I slapped her first. But <laughs> oh. it's OK. It's OK. We made it. But through. you got but through that. And you friends. You, yes. yes. You know, me and Sabrina, we had our little hash outs, too. But, you know, we got right back on check, you know. And Sabrina, and I don't think you like never. Gandhi. <laughs> Let it go, sis. <laughs> and, you know, with them, I never skip a beat. And, right. And, We've always been like-minded, no matter if we speak every day or not. It's just, we always get right back on track. And them two, those are my girls. Right. And as far as John Tago, you know, me and her, we just really got close maybe I about a year her. ago. I love her. And um, her spirit that's, is yes, so beautiful. That's my girl. That's my prayer warrior. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my sister. What you, you smiling know? over there for? <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister, and you know, that's my friend too. And you know, I, I appreciate, you know, what her coming into my life has done for me. Mm -hmm. And not only for me, but you know, for my family and, and our right. spiritual relationship right. as well, too. And you know, shout out to the engineer for that as well, too. Hey. You know, he played a major part in that, too. Absolutely. And I really appreciate it. Beautiful young man. And as far as me and your relationship like i said come I'm on learning. Now. I'm do me learning. right i'm still learning i'm still that little girl learning from my big sister oh, and you know trying to follow in her footsteps mm -hmm. you know on so many different ways and you know we're both mothers you mm -hmm. know there's things that i learned from her mm -hmm. you know and there's things that she okay. may learn from me shaking, that means you're trying to cry <laughs> i'm not gonna do this with you <laughs> and there's things that you know she probably learns with me with my little ones Absolutely. And, you know i appreciate what she does with my kids as well too like she those little words out there to see if they'll remember the definition mm -hmm. and stuff like that and you know and they love it they can and, you know and they when they come to our <laughs> house they never want to come they home they never want to come home <laughs> brielle actually hung the phone up she said okay bye mommy it's not gonna happen bye mommy <laughs> they never want to come home but you know i appreciate that because i already i know they're in good hands and they're with auntie just having fun um for me I love my baby, you know, Saran. Shout out to my baby. I Listen, he has made me 
become an even better human being. Yes. Um, they say you can't teach a dog new tricks, but I'm living proof that you can. Mm-hmm. Our relationship is wonderful. It's tremendous, yes. and it's grown tremendously. Mm-hmm. Um, my nieces and my nephew, I adore them because I live vicariously through them. Mm-hmm. They have so much energy, and it's like a sponge. They just soak so much up to the yep. point where my niece told me she I couldn't speak English to her, and she thought she was speaking <laughs> Spanish. I I don't know what she wouldn't speak English to me or it was gibberish but she thought it was Spanish and I think that's so beautiful because kids are so fearless Mm -hmm. and they're teaching me yes you know how I felt about um doing this whole podcast Mm -hmm. I didn't know what avenue I was going to go down but I just knew I needed to do something if I could just touch one human being if I could just touch two Mm -hmm. you know it it means the much it means so much to me right. and for me um a lot of the secrets and the friendship that ties into love mm-hmm. because i talked about unconditional love in episode four Mm -hmm. and a lot of people responded to that episode and was like yo i see why you love dmx so Mm -hmm. much shout out my homie free (laughs) but i want you to understand something too just because you love unconditionally doesn't mean you have to accept part of my french anybody's half assness Mm -hmm. what your the work that you need to do is what you need to do okay and a lot of the times people think that because you love them unconditionally they can continue to use it, use you and think that everything's going to be peachy keeny no oh, loving unconditionally means you know i i still love you but now i know how to love you i wish you no harm anybody that has ever been a part of my life mm-hmm. i wish them no harm yeah. I hope that they're doing better things. Mm-hmm. I, if anything, if I see you doing better things, that inspires me. Right. Because I had a part in that. Yes. Because if you lose me, I'm sorry. <laughs> you losing the best, okay? You're now rocking with the best. Hey. <laughs> so, and, I, and yes, I am tooting my own horn yes, because I am should. a great human being. Should. And I love to see people grow. Yes. I use that Beautiful as thing. inspiration. Yes. Now, Another thing I want to touch on is, hold up, wait. Did you hear my girl Janae Aiko's new song, Triggered? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I, Janae, <laughs> I'm not finna play with you. Goat. Goat status. We gonna do an episode about her. Because remember when you when you played Mila J's song to, um, for me? Man, I'm sick and tired of how he keep on liking. Mm-hmm. So no more complaining. Either put up with it or let it go. That Listen. Sis, that was all, that was Mill for Days. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, Brick City. Sis, we could go a whole nother episode with that. Yes, yes. But, but that saying just yep, put up, put up with it. Yep, put up with it. Let it go. Absolutely. Now, I want to get your take on love hmm. because look at you. You, I didn't even say <laughs> nothing yet. And you smiling and laughing and giggling. <laughs> What Jadon did to you? Oh, no. <laughs> but for me, everybody knows I am a single woman. No, I'm single, single now. At one point, it was to the point where I was single and kind of like talking to somebody yeah, and interacting. Yes, situationship. <laughs> but now I'm like single, single. And for me, it's just like a struggle because it's hard dating in this day and age. And you, it's hard to come across genuine people. Me, mm-hmm. I'm honest from jump. Right. I'm always honest because I don't have to remember nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. When you tell the truth, one thing about the truth, it doesn't change. It will change you, mm-hmm. but it doesn't change. And you don't have to remember anything. Right. So love for me is, uh, I feel like black. Uh, y'all might call him Six Lack, but he has a song like, I got the worst luck with love, worst luck with love. And I really do feel like that because it's just like nobody has given me or reciprocated the same thing that I have. And I can't expect them to. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm so happy that I get to see it 
in human form mm -hmm. between you and Ja, between dad and Nay, between Hermine and her husband. Like, mm -hmm. I just really feel like Jante and oh, look, 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 you can't even say her name without him. Like, look, look, it, it's for me. I know that it exists. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Rachel and Rich mm -hmm. R and R because that lets me know that, you know, it is possible. Yes. And they always let me know that it's not easy, but if you communicate, Swallowing pride, yes. apologizing is it, it may be hard. Oh yes. <laughs> so give me your take on that. Um, when it comes to love, on an intimate level, you know, finding your lifetime partner, um, you always gotta be friends first. Mm. Communication is definitely key. Mm. And um, if you don't have no that outsiders, friend, yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that friendship with each other, mm -hmm. then it's like, how is it gonna work? How right. is it going to work? And when we went through counseling, like, we had our friendship, but once we finished marriage counseling, it was just like, it took it to another level. Wow. Because it was like questions that he was asking, and mm. it was just like, ooh, wow, we never really even really talked about this. Doing so the job it, you of know, a good friend. Yes. Bringing <laughs> you to consciousness. <laughs> yep. And, you know, um, friendship. Definitely got to keep that friendship. And... You know, the love will always be there. Be real with each other. Absolutely. Because if you can't be real with each other, mm -hmm. you're just wasting each other's time. Right. You're just wasting each other's time. And, you know, I appreciate our friendship wow. because, you know, we were friends first. Absolutely. Like, we met in high school, you know, and we were always cool and it was never... Mm -hmm you know any bad blood or anything and then yeah. once we reconnected through facebook before we even made it official we were friends wow. and you know we were both coming out of something bad at mm. the time but you know Don't we kept that friend <laughs> we kept Child. that friendship and you know we let, let each other know what it was before you know we made it official mm. so our uh, you know that's what i value most about our relationship our friendship mm -hmm. and you know now we have three beautiful children soon Aww. to be four Yay. you know but technically we have five one is in heaven yes Rest in peace, my baby jj yes seven eight but JJ. um but yeah you know so we have little eyes looking at us mm -hmm. so you know i want them to grow up knowing what it is to have a love like mommy and daddy yes or what to look for and what not to look for mm -hmm. in a spouse and you know, I'm like, well, it's you're tough. definitely said no, <laughs> but I commend you, and it's I'm so tough. proud of you. Um, on the aspect of now, you you being big homie, <laughs> I look, I I so admire that, mm -hmm. and it's so crazy, y'all, because when you could say Ja name, like her face just light up. If you ever seen them two, like if I'm at Danny's house and Ja walk into the room, it's like these adoring <laughs> eyes. And my sister has big eyes. That's why like, and this is another another tidbit or no unknown fact is I call her my Furby because she has such big <laughs> eyes. And it reminds me of the Furby dolls that came out or Gizmo from Gremlins. Like it's just her eyes are so big and they just light up and to see that it's such a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and to the people who are currently single as myself I look at love from every different angle mm -hmm. I have love all around me from being a mother mm -hmm. from being a daughter mm -hmm. a sister an auntie cousin yes. I have love all around me love mm -hmm. first of all for myself mm -hmm. and you know yes. this is not easy journey I keep telling people this I didn't love myself at one point mm -hmm. if you, if you go yourself, right you if you go back to episode else. five there's something about V you'll understand mm -hmm. like it took a lot for me to get here now when somebody tries to tell me something about myself it's almost a joke now it's as if like okay and rope was a joke you silly <laughs> but anyway anyway it's for me it's just um a process and once you love yourself it's like sometimes I still find like that old way creeping back where I give people the benefit of doubt, the mm -hmm. benefit of the doubt. But then like I start to see the flags and I'm like, hmm, all right, time to be selfish with myself. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong nothing with wrong at all. nothing wrong with being selfish with yourself. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I want to touch on before we get out of here is anger. When you're angry, what do you do? to kind of like bring yourself down because there's a saying that says he or she who can anger you controls you mm -hmm. and I'm working on that 
especially when I'm driving. Lord, who <laughs> mama say mama saw eco boho shenda bahai. Ooh, when it comes to anger, um, I would say uh-huh. that's my whole. No, you can't have it. <laughs> that's my. That's the area where my whole. I did a whole 360 because. When I was younger, mm-hmm. and you made me mad, I would just say anything, whatever, whatever I Absolutely. say. Absolutely, I That's know it's we gonna hurt work. you. <laughs> Remember, we had a fist fight. <laughs> I'm gonna say whatever Ooh. I know is gonna hurt you, and you're Wasn't gonna feel pregnant? it. Uh, that, that, that was middle school. I remember that. Oh I remember my God. that thing, you know, and you know. <laughs> That's it's, where I did a whole 360. Absolutely. Now, you know, I, know I just think mad. in my head, <laughs> I just think in my head, like, do you really want to say that? And mm. are you really you ready to my hurt that relationship be, my with? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to think, are you really ready to hurt that relationship with what you're going to say? Because <laughs> once you say it, you can't take it back. Right. But wait. The, the, the part that gets me is when you about to call somebody out on their BS, it's like they got spider senses. It's like ding, 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 ding. It's like they could sense when you about to catch them in their BS or you about to catch them in their lies. And it's like they just go ghost. ghost. Oh, oh. <laughs> Realer than most. Hey, Jaden Smith, that boy, that boy bad. That boy bad. The icon living. Hey. <laughs> but for me, anger is still something that I'm trying to work on because I have to ask myself daily like if you were to see somebody that you wanted to go up top on in real life (laughs) right oh (laughs) no let me tell you because I really have to no you really have to check yourself Mm -hmm. and I really have to understand that it's a it's a fine line between a prison be being somebody's prison be (laughs) and you being free Okay. I like my freedom. I love my freedom. And (laughs) to me, being a mother is the most important thing right now. And it was a time where I didn't realize that I was out here wilding. Wilding to the point where I was pulling up. Let me, let me, we we won't. I've I've grown. (laughs) That's why I keep smiling. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But no, it is anger. Listen, whole 360. Anger is one of those things where it's like, I don't want anybody to have that much level of control over yes. me. And it's like, I'm, I'm still practicing. Um, I'm still, sometimes I find myself wanting to be petty white, mm-hmm. petty Pendergrass, <laughs> you could, it's petty LaBelle. <laughs> but what is the point? What is the point? And to, for me to do that, it's like, okay, so then you still letting them win. Mm-hmm. Why, why bother? Right. And the biggest thing for me right now is, um, I'm trying to go from overlooked to overbooked. Hey, come and on now. nobody is going to come on now. <laughs> and nobody is worth stopping that. Yes. There was a time in my life where anger would succumb. I would I would succumb to the anger. And I just was ready to pop off, to pop off, to pop off. I still got a video in my phone to this day with a fight. But um, that's another story. <laughs> but uh it's for me, it's just like there's a bigger goal. The yes. end goal is always <laughs> Family, FOE, mm-hmm. family over everything. Facts. So, Facts. Um, before we wrap up this episode, is there anything you want to say to the good people? Are you still here with me? Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing that I want to say. I just want to thank you for having me on the Absolutely. show. You know, I, get um, you I was a little on. nervous, you know, um, earlier, but, you know, as we get through it, you know, mm-hmm. it's just another conversation with right. my sister. Right. Like we sitting at the kitchen table, yeah, just chilling. <laughs> so people, let this be a lesson to you that in their relationship, strictly whether it's platonic, whether it's a family member, nothing is worth losing that person, especially over something small. Mm-hmm. Anger is one of those things where, and don't get me wrong, because some people don't deserve to be or in your space or in your energy. You have to love them from afar. But let this be a lesson that change can happen, but change starts with you. Now, my job is to feed you. How you digest it, that's personal. But as for me, 
And that's for mine, sis. It's always forward. You know that. Forward always. Hey, peace. And until next time. Hey, y'all. My sister came. My sister here for episode 20. Talk to me. 20. Talk to me. Hey. Hey, hey I should tell him about the time you smacked that little girl in the class. <laughs>